the 7 o'clock position, uh, Stats is going to be a bit annoyed by that, but he'll have another probe out to build a new expansion. I don't think it's going to bother Stats too much. Stats does need to be careful, though, and not get overconfident like the other KT players. That's maybe what it was, overconfidence. Um, and I think that that is a mistake to make against any pro gamer. Uh, so it looks like here we have quite a few lurkers coming out from GGMO in a good spread, defensive spread here. Uh, I don't know whether Stats should proceed with this sort of attack. I think he'll incur more losses than he wants to at this point. Uh, he's probably better off trying to establish his third base. Uh, I don't think he's got quite enough units. Stats with two Zealots on the ramp there blocking the Zerglings, the Marauding Zerglings from doing anything. Stats deciding to push in though. He needs to storm some of these units here. Uh, okay storm there. The second storm catching only two Hydras. Stats has lost a decent number of Zealots at the front. He's okay though. Both armies sort of sitting and staring at one another. I think they're probably roughly evenly matched Hive up for GG Amo. He's probably got uh, adrenaline glands upgrading now. He doesn't have Carapace. Ugh. No Carapace 1. That's going to make his Zerglings pathetically weak against Zealots. Uh, yeah, Zealots already with plus 2, so... So I don't know about this coming from GG Amo. I think he's upgraded attack 1 on his uh, Hydras. I mean, that's also okay, but he really should get the Carapace upgrade, especially if building all these links. Uh, he's got two Evolution Chambers now. Surely he's getting the Carapace upgrade on one of them. Uh, so it looks like Stats is trying to push towards GG Amo's base at the 1 o'clock position. Lots of Zerglings and Lurkers in a pretty good defensive posture here. I'm not sure whether Stats will be able to break without reinforcements. Ooh, lots of reinforcement Lurkers. And it looks like Stats is going to lose his entire army here. Uh, his reinforcements not arriving in time. Ugh, Stats needs to consolidate his forces a bit here and try n not to push ahead, losing a high, uh, high Templar there to a snipe. Uh, things not going... Uh, quite right for stats here. Uh, I still think he's in an okay position. He's got his third base up. He just needs to consolidate his forces and not risk uh, attack. Look like GG Amo might be going for some sort of drop here or posturing for a drop perhaps just to give stats some pause. Here, GG Amo looks like he's sending a ling force around to intercept some reinforcements. That's always good to do. Uh, no, he might also be trying to go for one of the bases. I think he's intercepting reinforcements, uh, but these zealots aren't going to be bothered by the lings, I feel. Uh, Dark Templar coming in here for stats. Absolutely no overlords in the region for GG Amo. Okay, now he has an overlord. Dark Templar only managing to kill one drone. Bit unfortunate. GG Amo trying to protect that drone with his Zergling. Succeeding there. He's going to be able to put down his fourth base. So stats looks like he's going to try to kill that base. GG Amo, he might do well to launch some sort of counterattack instead of trying to save this barely building base here. Uh, it looks like that's what GG Amo is doing. But he's only sending out a tiny army there to launch an attack. It's just a handful of links. That's not going to do much. Ooh, GG Amo going for the drop. So he was going for a drop with all these overlords. If he goes for massive dropping stats main... And surely these lings are adrenaline gland upgraded at this point. He could do some serious, serious damage. So, so with just one drop, GG Mamo may be able to take a decisive lead in the game. If, on the other hand, Stats sniff this out and moves his troops in position to defend, uh, GG Amo is going to be in serious trouble. He can't afford to lose these units. Stats with his army in position. He scouts the drop coming. Uh, so I think Stats should be able to pull back in time. I don't know why Stats is not pulling his army back. Okay, now he's pulling his army back. I don't think GG Amo is going to be able to accomplish too much with this drop. He might pick off Gateway or two at most, but... But uh, he's not going to be able to quite have the success he wants. Uh, stats with uh, High Templar in the region. He can storm all over those lurkers. Uh, one storm, not the best. Uh, stats needs to bring his army back. Uh, lots of uh, lurkers going down, killing things all over the place. GG Amo with clever little attacks at the front and uh, this drop at the back. Now, I don't know why Stats is... Uh, then move his army back a bit faster to deal with this. Sats is going to be able to clean it up, but he's lost uh, quite a few probes at his main. GG Amo in a good position. I still don't think this drop was really that crippling. Still, the little advantages are adding up slowly for GG Amo here. GG Amo might be thinking of going for a second drop with these... Uh, 
overlords and zerglings. GGM will also putting down another base. This is sort of clever. Uh, he is just going to use these drops to sort of force stats to stay in his base while he expands all over the place, taking firm map control. This is I like this move. Uh, if he can repeatedly keep stats in his base, I don't know what happened to stats' uh, Corsairs. He had like two or three. And bring those Corsairs here to deal with the overlords. Uh, it's always nice. Uh, looks like GGMO with his overlords decided to back off. Absolutely no anti-air there for stats. Uh, you see those overlords just uh, move around at will, doing whatever the hell they want. That's a bit silly um, for, for stats to not try to contest the air. GG Amo may be going for Stats' new base. If he manages to pick off that new base with these overlords, Stats is going to be in serious trouble. He's going to be down to only one mining base plague all over these zealots. Uh, storm going down over lurkers. Uh, massive storms going down for Stats. However, GG Amo is dropping all over Stats' base at the 7 o'clock and Stats has nothing there to defend. He's got two zealots and a handful of cannons. That's not going to be enough. And if Stats loses his nexus, he's going to be in serious, serious, serious trouble. Stats looking very worried there. Uh, stats not doing very well at all this game either. Uh, I think KD Roaster is going to go out 3-4-1 to, uh, four, one to, to Air Force Ace. Absolutely uh, unexpected. Complete upset here I would argue. GG Amo's army now wiping out the Nexus at the 7 o'clock position, uh, killing Stats' units in the front. Uh, GG Amo now with plenty of bases, four bases of its own. Stats trying to go in for some sort of counterattack here, but not able to do enough. I feel this uh, High Templar not even going to be able to storm drop effectively, killing three drones. That's storm. I don't even know what Stats was doing with that. So, so stats, you know, you can't allow these overlords to maraud around the map at will there. Two or three Corsairs would have given uh, GG Amo sufficient pause to abandon any sort of attempts at drops. But stats now in deep, deep trouble. He's down to one mining base against four for GG Amo. GG Amo was doing fine <laughs> earlier when he was at roughly economic parity with stats. So, now that he has an economic advantage... I fear the, the time for stats is very limited here. Stats might be able to hold out for a bit more with Reavers and High Templar, but but I don't see him winning this game at this point. GG Amo with some nice drops, uh, especially the second drop, very effective there. Stats trying to establish a base here at the... Uh, 5 o'clock position, if he can hold that, he'll be fine. He needs a second mining base, desperately. GG Amo bringing Overlords uh, and Zerglings, all kinds of units. Stats, hopefully he's got a Reaver there in that shuttle. Uh, uh, similarly, GG Amo could use a pair of Scourge to snipe that shuttle. Uh, two Reavers here uh, should be able to deal with any sort of drop coming from GG Amo. So, so stats should be fine as long as he can hold that base. What I fear that GG Amo might be trying to do is launch a direct attack on the front with Lings and then drop all over. Yeah, 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 he's dropping all over with these lurkers, all of the cannons, he's gonna kill all these probes. Absolute devastation here coming from GG Amo. He's got a uh, uh, swarm down to protect his lurkers. Oh man, all these probes are coming, they're gonna get absolutely massacred. So many lings swarming too. I don't know where Stats' zealots are. He, uh, they must have been wiped out. Uh, reasonably good uh, shuttle, of course, uh, uh, shuttle reaver micro here. One of the reavers goes down. The Nexus is getting picked off. Nexus is in the red now. Uh, Stats just managing to clean it up. We've got Scourge coming to try to pick off the shuttle. Fortunately, one is Scourge being killed by Stats here. GG Amo absolutely relentless in his attack. Swarming lings. All kinds of lings. Just, just charging into uh, Stats' base at the 5 o'clock and all GG Amo has to do is pick off that base. Fortunately, stats with three Archons and a Reaver going to be able to hold out against Slings for some time. Ah, his Reaver goes down. That's not going to help. Oh, Ultralist out for 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 uh, GG Amo here. And that's exactly what he needed to do. Fortunately, stats again with his uh, three Archons here able to hold out for some time. The Scourge are probably coming to pick off that shuttle. Oh, I think Stats should have held that shuttle in defense, honestly. He needs to hold his base. There's no question. However, the Overlords are going to come in and drop and break through that Archon blockade. This is what I mean. This is why it's so critical to have air control. 
And these Archons are absolutely hero units, holding off practically forever there against uh, the constant Ling attacks and against Ultralis. And now they're going to pick off these Lurkers. Absolutely hero Archons. Uh, but GG Amo should be able to overwhelm them. He's got some uh, Ultralis coming. Ultralis actually not the best against Archons, but now he's going to be able to swarm in some Lings to finally d pick off that Nexus. When the Nexus goes down, I fear this is GG for stats and the Archons getting wiped out. Stats demonstrating that he knows what he's doing. Those Archons have some of the most epic defense I've seen. Uh, but but now stats is pushing out in the middle with a few more Archons. This force is going to get surrounded and wiped out. Uh, some storms it hardly matters at this point. It's GG coming from stats. I don't know. This seemed like arrogance.